हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप माय नेम इज रोहन पाटिल एंड आई गॉट ऑल इंडिया रैंक 44 इन ई 2018 एस सी टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड देर आर ओनली फ्यू डेज रिमेनिंग टू योर गेट एग्जाम सो आई एम हियर टू टेल यू हाउ यू कैन बेस्ट यूटिलाइज योर लास्ट फ्यू डेज सो लेट्स बिगेन so the uh, first thing you should understand is the basic concept revise each and every basic concept and all the formulas uh, before attempting the gate exam because uh, i have given the gate exam thrice and i have observed that the all the questions will be mainly on the basic concept as well as direct questions on formulas so you must understand each and every formula each and every term in each formula as well as how you can apply them and how one thing is given and other things are asked then you must understand how to calculate them and uh, also practice the gate calculator because uh, you are using uh, the different calculator than the gate calculator so it may create some problem while using the gate calculator so try to uh, solve the questions by using the gate calculator the next thing important thing is mock tests so daily give one mock test now only like 7 to 8 days are remaining so uh, give mock test at the time of your gate exam like if your exam is at uh, forenoon session like 9:30 am to 12:30 pm then attempt the mock test mock test at the same time so that while attempting the gate exam also you will realize that are ye exam to main roz hi de raha hu isi time pe de raha hu so there will not be any issue with you so after giving the mock test uh, daily give the mock test then analyze the test analysis of the test is different now previously you were analyzing the test like uh, what are the difficult areas what are the areas you don't know and you were trying to understand those areas but now your analysis should be different like you must analyze the areas which you know already but you are now unable to remember the formula related to that or you are unable to uh, understand what is asked in the question so just understand those questions and those formulas which you already know don't run behind the uh, huge concepts or huge formulas now these days because uh, you will not remember or uh, you will not remember those formulas in the gate exam and maybe they were not that so much necessary in the gate exam now focus on those areas only which you already know and don't understand now now don't under, try to understand the huge concept and do not do any research like you are uh, find something that this is, i don't know then you go on researching on that thing then you understand that q concept is actually so huge then you try to understand that concept and so so this may create some problem so just try to understand those thing which you already know because the time now left is very less so concentrate on those things which you already know so next is uh, don't be an owl uh, so most of the people uh, like uh, they study at night only so instead uh, instead of that i will suggest that have a good sleep at night and wake up early morning and give a fresh start to a, your day so that uh, you can best utilize your day and the, on the gate exam also your center will not be like uh, very uh, close to your home so you will be traveling by some a vehicle or metro or something to reach the gate exam center so you have to wake up early on that day so instead of waking up early on that day only try to wake up early in a, uh, on each and every day so that it will be also a, a routine for you then the main thing is don't leave a single to stone unturned by which i mean to say that revise each and everything revise the basic formulas basic concepts uh, the highlighted areas in your notes the areas which you have marked as very very important so much important in your notes because everyone does that i know that i have also did that this area is so much important but some people forget that forget to revise that area before attempting the gate exam so don't do that always try to attempt each and everything uh, revise each and everything before going to gate exam revise short notes i have the habit of preparing short notes uh, most of the people are having the habit of uh, re- uh, doing the short notes so please i request you to revise the short notes because you if you don't remember anything in the g- exam 
then you will surely remember the uh, short notes that you have prepared. You have done a lot of studies to attempt this exam. So don't be, don't be so pressurized by this exam and don't give up at the last moment. So if you are thinking that, uh, bhai, mera kuch abhi tak padke nahi hua hai, mujhe exam jana chahiye ki nahi jana chahiye, should I give it a try or not, then you should not worry about that. Because if you know the percentage of people applying for the gate exam and percentage of the people who are actually qualifying the gate exam, so this ratio is very less. So you just have to think that, bhai, maine jitna kiya hai, utna enough hai, and I will surely do the exam. Uh, surely do uh, good in the exam. So just be confident, be calm, and go to the exam very confidently. Now give mock test with your hundred percent. By which I mean to say that, don't give the mock test like, yar, ab isse kya, kaun check kar raha hai, kitna percent aa raha hai, kya ho raha hai. It doesn't matter. But don't do that. Actually, it does matter because after the test, compare yourself with the other that what where you are lagging. You are lagging in calculations or you are lagging in theory concepts or you are lagging in using the calculator. So analyze the test very properly and for the analysis, you must give the mock test with your 100% ability. Then only you can analyze the test very well. After that, remember that gate is not the end of life. Some people think that what will happen if I don't get the good rank or don't get a good score? Will I be selected for a IIT or will I get a PSU or not? Agle saal fir kaise prepare karunga gate ke liye? Abhi to mera kuch padke nahi hua. To ye sab abhi sochne ki zarurat nahi hai. Just remember that it's not the end. You have did a lot of, uh, you have did good in lot of exams like aapka 10th board hua, 12th ka board hua, uske baad 4 saal ka engineering hua. So you have did very well in lot of exams, so you will do uh, good in future also. So don't be pressurized by the gate exam. Just be calm and confident. Confidence is the basic key to your success. Because if you are confident, you will surely remember all the things and you will apply your best of knowledge in the gate exam, for which you must have to be calm and confident. On the last day, remain hectic free and calm, have a good nap, don't have heavy breakfast because if you do heavy breakfast, it may happen that you feel sleepy at the time of gate exam because most of us are ha having the habit of sleeping at afternoon. So don't do that, change your habits, so try to sleep at night only and be aware entire day, it will help you in the exam also. Uh, the last point is carry admit card and identity card. Uh, identity Without identity card, with, you will not be allowed to enter in the hall. So please carry admit card and identity card and make sure that the name and uh, where, name and both are same. Because it may happen that your surname is first on the admit card and surname is last on the identity card. So don't do that, carry that admit card on which the name or anything is same. So there will not be any issue before entering the gate exam. Because if it happens, it may create a lot of problem because you will be stopped at the gate, then you will be asked lot of questions, they, it may create, the, create some uh, tension in your mind which will disturb your entire gate paper. So don't do that. So I hope you will do your best in the gate, gate exam. All the best guys. I hope you like this video. So I please like this video, subscribe to the gate channel and please uh, if you have any queries, comment on this video. Thank you so much.